Hey guys, welcome to a new series we're doing Hitman Roulette, which has been really popular recently on YouTube, so I thought we'd give it a go. So we're going to be in Paris, we're going after Dalia Margolis and Viktor Novikov. We're going to kill Dalia dressed as the Sheikh with a fallen object, and then we're going to kill Victor dressed as a waiter with the letter opener. So we're going to start as the crew member, we're going to run around ignoring the cameras because we're going to take those out shortly. Gonna head around to where the shakes room is. So we've started with like default loadout. We have taken the lock pick this time. So we're gonna use the lock pick on this door. We've taken the coins and we've also taken the gun. So we're gonna run through here, we're gonna drop a coin. We'll throw a coin to distract the shake. Walk in the bathroom a bit further and drop one just next to this rug here and hide in the wardrobe. As soon as the shake comes in, he'll pick up the coin that's in front of us and we'll knock him out and take his disguise, and that's part one done. Here he comes. You can hide behind the door, but a few times it's glitched out and I've been spotted, so hiding in the closet is just a lot easier, a lot safer. So we'll pick our coin up, we'll take his disguise, and we'll drag him into the closet, and then that's the body hidden, and we're all good. Next thing we need to do is we're going to go into the Sheikh's room, and we're going to pick up the letter opener, which is what we're going to use to kill Victor later on in the mission. So if we run over to his desk, crouch down and pick it up, make sure you put it away quickly just so the guard doesn't spot you, and we're out the door. I was debating which way to go and I decided to go back through the way we came and head up the stairs. So again, don't worry about the cameras, we're allowed to be in here. We have been gone to yellow guns, which is something we can fix later on when we head down into the basement. Don't know why I didn't run through the doors to the left there, but we're going to loop round and head up the stairs to where the auction room is. We don't get frisked or anything through here as with a shake. This is such an overpowered disguise, so it probably made this a bit easier, but we're going to head into the auction room and we're going to take our seat and make a bid. And what this will do, this will give us one-on-one -on -one time with Dahlia and then we can just take her out with the fallen object without any issues. So we've got to wait for her to enter the room. You can see on the mini-map that she's just walking across the corridor now. Entering the room and as soon as the prompt comes up, we press Y to place a bid. And there we go. We get invited into our office and we can follow her in. And we're going to drop the chandelier on her. So follow her through to her office. Nice and easy, there's no rush. We've got to wait for her to get there first. So the guards don't stop you, you don't get frisked on the way in, which is good because we've got a pistol. And as soon as the, she's taken her position in the middle of the room, we're going to drop the winch and then we're going to run out the way we came in. Back down the stairs and back out through the exit into the basement where you normally go past the tech crew so there's no suspicion on us we can run all the way through here downstairs again i don't know why i didn't take that that first door on the right but there we go all the way into the basement we're going to go and grab the emetic poison which is available downstairs we're also going to get the waiters disguised from downstairs as well and on the way we're going to take out the security camera so we're going to use the, the ice baller on this one which is a really cool weapon pun intended which we unlocked in the Hokkaido snow festival take out the camera nice and easy and we're going to run through and grab the emetic poison off the shelf before going into the changing room and we'll go and pick up the disguise so we're nearly there, what we're going to do is we're going to poison his bodyguard and then we're going to set the fire alarm off and which will bring Victor downstairs and we can then get him and throw the letter opener at him. Retrace our steps, we're going to go back up the way we've just come, back through the kitchen. You can see Victor's just above us so we're going to have to have a little bit of a wait around for him but it gives us time to poison the food and get into position. So as we head up here we're going to go through these doors, loop round to the right all the way around and into the food prep area where there's some canapes which the guard likes to eat and we're going to poison them and because we're dressed as the waiter there's absolutely no suspicion even though this lady's looking straight at us we can poison the food and that's it so now it's just a bit of a waiting game so we're going to loiter around wait until the bodyguard has come and eaten some food then we're going to set the fire alarm off so the fire alarm is just over to the right hand side of where we are now you can see victor's heading through he is on his way, but he's going to make one more stop. And this is the fire alarm we're going to trigger. So we just basically just got to wait around now until Victor's in position. And here he comes. There we go. We've got him. We can keep the door open. We can see the bodyguard's going to eat some of this food. 
There we go. Nice and easy. And we're just going to wait for him to start feeling ill. Victor will walk off on his normal route. And the bodyguard's going to go into the bathroom behind us. One thing to be careful with here. Make sure he is actually being sick before you trip the fire alarm. Else he'll trip out of it. You can see him. He's going over to the toilet now. And there he goes. So as soon as that happens, we're going to trip this fire alarm and we're going to run around into by where the security office is downstairs. So back down the way we've come, it's a bit of an odd loop to run in Paris, but it's easy enough to get around. You know it really well by now. So we're going to head all the way over to where the security offices are. And we're just going to wait for Victor to be on his own and then we can throw the, knife, uh, the letter opener at him and get an easy kill. Back through the cellar. Back through the changing rooms. There you go. You can see Victor's running along the corridor now. What I didn't realise though is as I rounded this corner, I'm not trespassing at the moment. So I'm waiting around for Victor. He's gone into the security room. But as soon as I pass this little threshold here, these guys suddenly get suspicious of me. So I was really worried. So I just crouched. I wanted to get out of there. So what we want to do is just going to wait outside until Victor unfreezes from his panic. Guards are already chilling out. You can watch the mini map. As soon as the two white dots turn to black dots, we know that it's okay to go back in. Just a matter of waiting around. There's the first one. There's the second one. And now we're just going to block Victor just to separate him from these two guards. And we've got a nice easy kill. So all you got to do is keep bumping into him just till he gets held up far enough behind his guards. Gets a bit miffed with you for doing it. But yeah, we've separated him nicely. They've already left. We've got plenty of time. We've got the letter opener in our pocket, ready to go. And what we're going to do is we're just going to wait for him to get by the door so we don't have to drag the body so far. But yeah, this is where Victor Novikov meets his demise in Hitman Roulette, episode one. So just as he's about to go through the door, I flick it at him, drag the body up to this box, and then we're going to take the usual basement route out. But that's it done. Nice easy kill. Nice long mission for once. Rather than speed running it through, it's nice to take a bit more of a casual pace through it all. We're gonna head all the way down to the end here, take this easy exit, and that is the first episode of Hitman Roulette done. Paris ticked off. We've killed Dalia Mogulis, dressed as the Sheikh by dropping the chandelier on her, changed her weight as disguise, poisoned his guard, and then killed him with a letter opener. So Victor Novikov with a letter opener. And there we go. Nice easy one. Hitman Roulette is a great way to keep things fresh, gives you some new ideas, some new challenges, and hopefully you've really enjoyed this episode as much as I have figuring it out. So you go, all the ticks are there. The contract's obviously open to anyone who wants to run it. I'm sure you can do it a lot quicker than I have. I tried not to go too fast. I wanted to take a nice leisure, leisurely pace through it. But yeah, seven and a half minutes. Silent Assassin, not suit only, but that's all right with Hitman Roulette. If you did like the episode, please leave a like, and hopefully we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.